Moving on now from that shocking news to another alarming news with Bengaluru facing a severe water crisis and ahead of a scorching summer, residents are trying various ways to conserve water. In fact, residents of Ejipura are using traditional ways and methods to preserve and use water, unlike others in the city who are not really realizing the severity of the crisis while using water to wash their cars, etc. Here, women are using water far more cautiously. Residents have stopped using washing machines and dishwashers. This after they receive water supply once in three days and water from bow wells once in two days. Civic authorities in Bengaluru have already issued a warning that they will be forced to ration water if consumption is not controlled. What we do to save the water is basically we adopt this like traditional methods. So what we do is we don't use our washing machine. We don't use the uh, dishwasher. We, we don't have one at home, so we don't use it with dishwasher. We wear like really thin clothes, okay, like cotton clothes basically. So that we don't consume too much water while washing them. So we basically wash the wa clothes in, with our hands. And whatever clothes we wear today, we wash it on the same day while taking bath. And we don't save, wear, like waste too much water. BWSSP has come out with a statement that if after May end or June, if we don't get rains, then we should think of rationing water supply. I see every day people washing their cars with water pipes, washing their gates, walls, etc. with water pipes. I think people should be made known about the value of water. Now, while many of us have running water at home to clean or wash our utensils, in this particular area of Ijipura in Bengaluru, citizens over here have to first save water in drums and then from that or those drums, they will actually put a part of that water in small tubs like you see over here in my background and utilize that water in order to wash utensils. Whatever water they have saved over here is extremely precious and these people actually know the value of every single drop of water. Let's go straight across now to Nolan for more details and updates. Nolan, I was just seeing that report from Ijipura, uh, but just tell us, give us a sense of just how serious is the water crisis and give us an update, uh, give us numbers on just how much money rem uh, water remains in uh, the 12 dams in Karnataka. Okay, let's put it this way. Mm. Now, the Water Resources Minister M.B. Patil has promised and assured the citizens of Karnataka that all the districts, all the towns, all villages will be given uh, drinking water supply till the 15th of June. He has not spoke, spoken about rationing. However, however, when we actually went across the city, especially in the outskirts, the peripheral areas of the BBMP, that's the Bruhat Bengaluru Managra Palike or the corporation, mm -hmm. uh, many of the places are getting water every alternate day. Some are getting water one in two days some are getting water once in three days now the central business district where you have brigade road mg road st mark's road richmond town now these places there is continuous supply of drinking water but closer to these places people are suffering now keeping in mind the situation for the past three four years uh, most of these areas were given two connections one is kaveri and the other one is borewell Bore wells are all dry. There's mm. no water. So they only have to manage with Kaveri water. Mm. Another problem that Bengaluru is facing is that only, according to the tribunal, Kaveri tribunal, only one third of the city gets water from Kaveri. Two thirds, not yet. The, the BWSSB, BBMP are working on giving nine TMC feet, but there is no water. So as of now, citizens somehow, the ones who have some will have to manage uh, saving that water on those particular alternate days when water is left. The ones who don't have sums use their motors. Now, Avantika, this is interesting. For example, a lane where all have Kaveri water supply. You know, the people who actually get water, the ones who have motors. So the ones, so for example, if I switch on the motor on my, on, for, uh, to get water into my house, mm. the next person is not going to get sufficient water because water is left for just maximum what, from 11.40 to 12 o'clock in some areas. So for those 15 or 12 odd minutes, 15, 20 minutes, I use the motor, my neighbor use the motor, the other people uh, living on the other okay. areas or just next to my house, my neighbor, will not get water. This is what is happening in many areas. Now, 
four Bengaluru, right. Mysuru and Mandia, the government has said that water from two dams, that is from the Kabini and from Karis will be supplied. Okay. They say that total amount is 4.7 TMC feet and he says that to supply water till the 15th of June, hmm. it will be about 4.4, 4.5 TMC feet. So we'll be left with hardly 0.2 TMC feet if it does not rain after uh, June 15. All right, Nolan, thank you so much for giving us a detailed account of, you know, the severity of the water crisis that exists in the state of Karnataka.